warm up is going to revolve around legs, obviously, and then we're going to dive in. We'll have a little bit of core in there. Um, all right, let's get started. Starting with a little bit of cardio because we're not going to have too much of the cardio push throughout the workout. Um, we're going to really sort of dial in the burn using that band to sort of keep things in good form and push that challenge a little bit with body weight exercises all the way through. So as we go through the warm up, definitely just get a sense of how those legs are feeling, how the lower back is feeling as well. If we hit a particular stretch that feels extra good, go ahead and linger there and stretch it out. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one into some butt kicks, getting the heels up, stretching through the quads and just continuing to sort of wake up the body, pull your mind into the workout as we push forward. Let's go four, three, two, and one. Slow things down. Let's start with those high kicks. Nice straight legs. This is one that if you want to take it walking, you absolutely can. But really the focus is just to get the legs up as high as you can in front. Always thinking about increasing that range of motion as we move through the warm up. Let's go three, two, one more each side. All right, knees to chest. A couple of pulls right up to the chest just to get a sense of balance. And then you can add that hip opener as soon as you are ready. Wake up the hips, activate the glutes here. So again, make sure that you're moving through wider and wider ranges of motion, even throughout the warm up. Keeping the shoulders down and back. Good form right from the get go. Let's do one more here. Yeah, nice rotation too. Boom, and down, excellent. All right, shake it off. Nice wide stance. Arms up and out to the side. We're just gonna start with a couple of upper body stretches here, just to wake up the lower back, really. And then we'll dive back down into lower body. All right, pull through those fingertips. Little pulses at the end are just fine. Let's go one more each side. And then you're gonna go in for the toe touches. So left hand to right toe, right hand to left toe, pushing your butt back behind you so you're getting that stretch all the way up the back side of the legs, across the glutes, and to the lower back. Taking it nice and slow, especially at the bottom so that you can pull your chest down closer to your legs. And again, don't just go through the motions, pay attention. See what's getting on a little tight this morning and give it a little extra love if you have to. Last reach. And go ahead and stand up nice and tall here. Deep breath in, reach for the ceiling, long spine, push your butt back behind you and reach for the floor. And then start with that side to side shift. Soft knees here, keeping your feet flat on the ground. So you're getting that stretch of the inside of the leg now. Get a little bit deeper into that stretch so you're slowing things down and dropping your butt a little bit more. Three, two, and one, and then you're gonna go ahead and straighten those legs. Sink into the stretch with me for five, four, three, two, and one. 
and then walk the heels in and toes in right to the center. Stay in this folded over position. All you're going to do from here, tuck your fingertips under your toes, and then you're going to drop your butt back behind you, lift the chest and chin, arms to the outside of the knees here, and then straighten it back up. And nice and gentle here, move between those two poses, so that forward fold and this sit pose. Warming up the quads, stretching the hamstrings and glutes. Let's go three, two, and one. You're going to straighten those legs back up and then roll the shoulders up to the ceiling. And then shake the legs out and grab a sip of water because we're going to dive into the work portion of our workout. And you're going to want the band all the way through today. So the band is going to start up above the knees, a couple, uh, couple of inches up above the knees. If during any of these exercises the band rolls, just pause and fix it. It is much more comfortable to take that stop and fix the band than it is to carry on and just sort of not miss a rep. We're going to get tons of reps in today, so you don't have to worry about that, okay? So, band is up on the, so the side, thighs. You use the pressure to sort of get a feeling for your form, for where you're pushing, where your knees are tracking, that kind of stuff, all right? So, the band just adds a little bit extra work for us here. All right, here we go. We're gonna start feet shoulder width apart, three body weight squats. So one, two, and on the third, we're gonna pause and then three pulses. One, two, three, and up. So one, two, and three, pause and pulse. And on that third pulse, you're going right back into your full squats. And right away, you kind of feel that band on this pulse, right? Pushing the knees out against the pressure of the band. Just adds that little extra kick of burn to the legs this morning. We're under 10 seconds. We are going to take breaks in between these exercises. Don't worry. Three, two, and one. Stand it up. Shake it out. All right. Over to one side of the room of the mat. We're going to do three side steps to a pop. So when you pop, you want your feet just wide enough apart that band doesn't fall. So here we go. In the squat, we're going to go one, two, three, pop. One, two, three, and then that pop. So this is a good example of how our cardio is going to work. We're never going to let go of that slow and steady burn. But we are going to add in little power pushes here and there. And for sure, already feeling those quads at this point. Keep pushing. Get in this leg day. Get that burn going. We're at 10 seconds. We're actually going to hit the mat when this buzzer goes off. Four, three, two, one. Woo. All right. Keep the band where it is. Mat on the ground, and we're going to go down into a half kneeling sort of side plank. So I want your left knee on the ground, left elbow on the ground, and we're just going to start with leg lifts. So that right leg up off the ground, right back down. Breathing through it, shifting gears here. So you're still going to feel that quad burn from the hold. But what we're really going for is the glute lift now. So keep your shoulders and hips facing forward and just hone in on that burn. We get just enough time in between these exercises to kind of take a breather. Not enough time to fully rec recover those leg muscles. So that burn is going to be real. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one, hips to the mat and flip it around. Let's even things off to the right knee is going to be down on the mat. The right elbow is down on the mat. Go ahead and start by lifting those hips straight up off the floor. Lift and down. 
Exactly. And like I mentioned, if you don't have a band, you don't want to use a band, you absolutely don't have to. Obviously, you're going to get all of the same movements in there. Minus the tension of the band, which is just fine. Lift and down. Woo! Keep going, keep going. 20 seconds here. We're going to see leg lifts again. So we're going to hit the glutes quite a bit during this workout. Keep that lift going. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, drop that hip to the ground. Stay on this side. I know those glutes are killing, right? We're going to work adductors here. So you're going to stay on this side all the way down onto the mat. Right leg straightens, left leg bends, and the knees to, the, or excuse me, the um, toes are to the front. And you're going to do leg lifts with the bottom leg this time. So you can adjust the left knee however you need to adjust it. Further away from your hips, closer up to your hips, whatever works for you. What we're going for here is now sort of that hip flexor on the right side and the inner thigh on the right side. Keep pushing. We're going all the way through that buzzer. We'll give ourselves a quick little break with some core exercises and then right back into glutes. Stick with it. Almost there. Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's take just that minute break. Flip it on to your backs. Arms at your side for support. We're going to go up into a bit of a hollow body hold here. So nice straight legs. You're going to lift the shoulders up, the legs are out in that hollow body hold, and then you're going to open into the Y and right back down. If holding your shoulders up off the ground is too much, you can 100% drop those shoulders to the ground and focus on the hold, focus on the Y pulse. Nice, excellent. Yep, exactly. So this is a good one, definitely, to have that band that kind of controls the movement. Open. We're getting there. Six, five, four, hold it. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right, as promised, we're going back into those leg lifts. This time, we are gonna start on the left side again, but this time, you're gonna be all the way down on the mat, not in a kneeling position. Both legs are straight, and you're gonna lift the top leg and right back down, and I want you to flex the foot as it comes up towards the ceiling, and then right back down to meet your other foot. Keep your hips facing forward, and just let yourself sort of Boom, resist the pressure. Those glutes, the side of your glute, on fire, pushing it right through. I promise we will get a water break during this workout. We have a little bit of work left to do before we hit that. Lift and down, nicely done here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Just give that right butt cheek a little bit of a break. Roll it over to the right side. We're going to work the left leg now. So both legs are straight, toes are flexed. Let's go up and comes back down to meet. So these are long age rules. We're getting a ton of reps in here, which is exactly what we want to do. These body weight, lower body workouts. We're going for reps to build that burn. Awesome, excellent. Again, keeping those hips facing forward, neutral positioning of the body. 10 seconds to go, and then we're gonna switch gears to the adductors again, the inner thighs. Five, four, three, two, and one, all right, stay on that side. We're gonna hit the adductors on the right leg. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend that top knee and you're gonna lift the bottom leg nice and straight up towards the ceiling and right back down. 
Nice and slow. Use this time to focus on your breathing. Deep breaths in, long, slow exhales. Hold it slow and steady. Try not to change your pace, even as that burn really takes hold. Longer intervals for these leg lifts. Again, breathe through it. We're getting there down to the end of this first circuit. We're at five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Burn is real. Flip it over. Let's work the inner thighs on the opposite leg. So right back down to the mat. This time the right leg bends so the foot comes to the front, lift, and down. So work at that left side now. And this is a good way to sort of stretch out that glute on the right side as well. So you sort of get two stones, boom, right up to the ceiling, right back down. Super small movement, but definitely getting the job done. You can feel those muscles holding that contraction. Hips and shoulders stay facing forward, stick with it. We have two exercises to go, then I promise we get a break. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. All right, back over onto your backs. Feet are going to start flat on the ground, knees bent. We're going to go up for a glute bridge pulse. So, up into the group, group bridge, pulse the knees out to the side, in and down. Take this time to keep the back nice and straight. So as your hips come down to the mat, no super exaggerated arch. You want to focus on keeping that tension in the glutes for the full round. Breathe through it. We're coming up on that break. We're almost there. Hold strong with me and work all, all the way through these last two exercises. We've got 10 seconds left here. Three, two, and one. All right, we're going to go back to finish up this round with a little bit of the hollow body hold, but we're going to do some knee tucks here. So what I want you to do is start with both knees out. You're going to bring the right. Whoa, that doesn't work very well. Pull your band up towards your knees a little bit, and we'll keep it together. We'll keep those knees together. Pull the knees up towards your shoulders and right back out. So straight legs, and then draw the knees up to towards your shoulders, pressing against the band. Lower back gently on the mat. There you go. Nice. Excellent. So to keep those shoulders up off the mat, if you feel like your neck is getting too strained, you can absolutely drop down to the mat. Give your neck a little bit of a break. You're still going to be moving your legs and getting that core workout in. Almost there. Four, three, two. And one, roll it up onto the sit bones. Go ahead and take that band off for a couple of minutes. Grab some water. That is our first circuit in the books. So, leg muscles are definitely awake. Feeling the burn. Woohoo! So, no high sweat factor, but for sure, glutes are feeling it, quads are feeling it. We're going to start back up on the mat, or excuse me, back up on our feet, not on the mat. We'll work our way back down. So keep it where it is. Shake the legs out. We're going to take another few seconds here just to sort of recover. And then again, band is back on for this full next round. And like I said, we're going to start on our feet here. So we're going to start with some bigger compound movements and then work our way back down to the mat. So band is back up a couple of inches above the knees. Make it nice and flat so it's not rolling on your legs. We're going to start with a little bit of a cardio push here. Nothing too crazy. I don't want you 
going for broke speed wise, but you're gonna go squat, pop out, and squat. Pop it back into the center. And of course, you're not gonna get too narrow, right? Or too wide because that band will start to roll. So really nice and controlled movements here. This is a great time to pay attention to the band. Let it guide you over your toes. Let it force the feeling of sort of pushing those knees out and keeping the knees from caving in during a squat, especially because we've been hitting those glutes all the way through here. Yeah, nice. Just getting that heart rate up a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Nice. Excellent. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so we're gonna head back to a couple of familiar exercises. We're gonna do three squats again. This time, instead of just the up-down pulse, your pulse is gonna go out, in, out, in. So together, let's do three squats, air squats. One, two, and three, and then from the low position, one, two, and three. Poor glutes today, sorry. One, two, and three, and then pulls push out. One, two, and three. Boom, back up to the top, nice. So we can get nice and low into this squat. Band's not going anywhere. Stand up nice and tall, we have 10 seconds to go. Make sure you use this break coming up to shake things out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, one more familiar exercise. Over to the side of the mat, side of the room. We're gonna do three steps to a hop to get that heart rate up again before we head down to the mat. So here we go. One, two, three, and then give me that pop. One, two, and three. So you don't have to make these cardio side steps, but you do want to keep your body moving and get some power out of that push. Boom. Yeah. Yes, come on. Feeling that leg burn, but legs are strong. They can take this. We'll fuel up after and be good to go. Stick with it. We're heading down to the mat when this buzzer goes off in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Keep that band right where it is. We're heading down to the mat. We're not repeating our leg lifts, but we are getting back into position there. So left side down, both knees bent, ankles and knees together. We're going clamshells. So you're gonna open up to the ceiling and right back down. Subtle movement. Keep your hips and your shoulders facing forward. So as that right knee comes up towards the ceiling, don't let yourself rock back and sort of lose control, right? Or lose your balance, rather. You wanna keep everything facing forward so it really is just that glute doing the work. Lift and down, Woo! just making sure that that burn lasts all day today. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Go ahead and flip it over to the right side. Let's even things out a little bit here. So ankles together, knees together. If you need to fix your band, now's a good time. Left knee up to the ceiling, open and down. So you should be feeling right here. Boom, direct side of the glute. Working those thighs, working the hips. All the way through here, lifting that knee up against the resistance of the band. See how high up you can get that knee without messing with your form. Woo. All right, stick with it. We've got about 15 seconds here, and then we're going to roll it over onto our stomachs this time for a fun take on a Superman. Five, four, I know you like it when I use the word fun during a workout. Two, and one. All right, so I'm going to flip it around so I can see the timer. You're just going to roll it onto your stomach. 
we're going to do essentially the lower half of a Superman. So I'm going to keep my arms bent to rest my chin on. I want you to bend your knees first, and then you're going to squeeze your glutes and press your heels up into the ceiling. So slight bend in the knees. You're not going to get too far up off the ground here. That's okay. I want you to push your knees against the band and those heels push right up into the ceiling. So this is almost, we're going to call this an isometric leg curl. So you can't go too much higher, but you're, you're pushing against that stop point, which is really getting those hamstrings fired up. Woo! Come on, stick with it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, up onto all fours. Straighten that right leg out back behind you. You're going to do a little bit of a kick here, not too crazy. I want you to just lift, down, sweep to the side, and back around. Lift, down, sweep. So straight leg, kick up to the ceiling, and then when that toe touches down, you're going to sweep it out, sweep the toes out to the right side of your hips. Yeah, awesome. Yep. Nice straight leg. Kick it out. Get some mobility going in there. Full range of motion on that kick. Whoop. And again, if the band rolls, fix it. It is much better to fix it. Feels much more comfortable than letting it just sit like that. Three, two, and one. All right. You guys know the drill. No left leg gets stranded without doing the work. to tilt the hips with the movement. I want you to try to keep the hips right where they are. Make the glutes do all of the work today. Almost there. Kick it up. Whew. We're getting there. We're getting there. Stick with it. We're pushing those legs right to the final buzzer today. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, sit back, stretch out those glutes just a little bit. All right, we're going to stay in this all fours position. And we are going to get into bear crawl mode here. So you're going to lift the knees just up off the ground. What I want you to do is alternate side step out. So one, back to the center. Two, back to the center. Knees stay low. And as you shift the one toe out, all of the weight shifts to the leg that is left at the center. Keep that balance. Nothing moves here except for that one leg, right? Shoulders locked in place. Butt stays nice and low. Let's get those quads and hamstrings firing in these last couple of exercises. That is our goal. Almost there. Three. Two, and one, he's down to the mat. Two exercises to go, we're done. And we really are gonna hone in on the quads and then the hamstrings. We're gonna be back in bear crawl position. This time, you're gonna tap both knees down to the mat. So bear crawl first, tap down, right back up. Super subtle, you're just moving a couple of inches here. So it's a great opportunity to pay attention to that nice flat back and the engagement in the core. We are going full on for quad burn right now. So if that is where you're starting to feel these, keep pushing, that's where we want it to be. 20 seconds, think to bottom round. You can do anything for 20 seconds. Put your mind to it, we're almost there. In fact, we have one exercise to go, five, four, Three, two, and one. Woo! All right, well, we have to 
we have to uh, bounce out that burnout. So back down on to your bellies. We're gonna go back into those frogger lifts. So slight bend in the knees. Here we go. Lift and down. And again, what I want you to think about is when you hit that top point, right? Imagine that that's sort of a bar or a wall. It's just completely immovable and you're pressing up into it. There are exercise techniques that are all about that isometric hold. You just literally sort of press as hard as you can into a wall for as long as you can, and that's it. That's the workout. But it kills when you do it right. Pushing those heels up into the ceiling. Get those hamstrings firing just as hard as the quads were in the last exercise. This is it. Push and down. Let's go five, four, three. Two and one. Woo! All right. If you want to take the band off because the workout is finished, now is the time we are going to stretch it out from the mat and just give those legs a little bit of time here to recover. So once the band is off, go ahead and sit it back in child's pose just to recoup, regain your composure, and stretch those glutes for sure, right? Taking some deep breaths in, slowly exhaling here. We have a lot to stretch out. We just spent a ton of times firing those muscles at a very high level. All right, go ahead and bring your body back up to all fours, and you're going to step that right foot forward. Let's hit the right leg, well, both legs here. So you're going to bend the right knee, shift that body weight forward into the right heel, leave the back knee on the ground, and try to keep your hips nice and even here. So don't let that right foot come too far, or excuse me, that right hip come too far forward. Nice and even keeps that hip stretch exactly where we want it to be. All right, go ahead and straighten that right leg, sit the hips back over the knee, Still paying attention to your hips. Get that chest nice and low into the stretch. Feel that pull all the way up the calf to the hamstring glutes into the lower back. All right, and then just give me a couple of reps here, pushing forward and then right back. So both stretches we're going to hit again, but we're just going to keep it moving. Add a little bit of that dynamic. Give me three or four, and then we're just going to switch sides. So that right leg goes back behind. Left foot comes forward, and again, push that body weight gently forward into that heel, stretch through that right hip. Gentle body weight forward, fix your hips if you need to, and then you're going to sit your butt back over that right leg, straightening the front leg and getting the posterior muscles. Hips are nice and even here. We'll go ahead and add that pull. So forward and back motion. Take it nice and slow. Be super gentle with your body here. We're just trying to keep that blood moving. Stretch those muscles out a little bit. All right, and then three or four reps just like that. And then back to all fours. We're going to step it gently out into downward dog. Gentle drawing of the torso and shoulders back towards your toes. Letting the tension out of your neck, out of your jaw. And then slowly walking those toes forward towards your hands into forward folds. If you want to add a little extra stretch, you can walk those hands over to the right, then to the center, and over to the left. Just changing at that angle a little bit. Hold where you feel comfortable. This is the time to work on flexibility, right? To really sort of pull into the stretches. 
Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. And then a slow roll up to the ceiling and big shoulder rolls back behind you. Shake things out. That was that, that, that booty burn. 